now um, we've got 13 scouts and they're all active, which is fantastic. Um, we have uh, the biggest issue we have within Troop 103, in my opinion, is getting the word out that the program is still active, is still going on. A lot of people just think it's kind of gone away. Um, we don't have a huge presence, obviously. There are a lot more kids in the area, but, uh, you know, we, we, we do well with what we have and um, we are uh, uh, trying to get out there. One of the things that I'm most proud about is last summer, at the time we had 11 scouts registered, um, we had 10 of those 11 scouts go to summer camp for the full week. And I think that's, uh, that's cool. I think that's a huge, uh, thing for us. I think that's a good thing. But let's talk about some of our strengths. Uh, the first thing we have are scouts. I've got a bunch of great kids. Um, we do. We, the, the, the kids that are in the program um, are very interested in camping. They are motivated to get outdoors. They're motivated to advance. They're motivated to do activities. If I give them an option to do something, they're going to pick something that's going to be outdoors and go. Um, when we began uh, changing and modifying these programs, the Boy Scouts, uh, which is now Scouts BSA, um, we are allowed to have a boys troop and a girls troop locally. We can't have boys and girls in the same troop. They are separate troops with separate numbers. They have to have separate scout masters. They can have the same, uh, well, it can be the same scout master, but it's not one role. You'd have to be the scout master for both troops. You can have the same committee, the same council or sponsoring organization. Um, I've put the word out a little bit, but right now I've been focused on building our uh, boys troop even more. Um, and we also need to have some additional female leaders step forward and say, I'm willing to be scout master. I'd love to work side by side with them and get it going. I think that's a good opportunity. So I, I have a question. George, is, is George is George friendly? Like, does the kids get to pet him, or does he not get around the kids? Uh, officially, um, officially, you're not to touch the deer. You're not to interact with the deer. You're not to feed the deer um, or do anything like that because they want to keep them away from uh, the, the biggest predator out there are actually humans um, between uh, the cars uh, back on the road um, and uh and people doing things that cause them to come up and disrupt their lifestyle. It, but now, having said that, um, you can go find George, and, and George will come up to you. George will eat right out of your hand if you let him. What does he like to eat? I wouldn't know. Uh-huh. <laughs>